Rusty is a diesel engine who does a lot of odd jobs on the Scarlowie Railway. Rusty is great friends with Scarlowie and Reneus, who enjoy telling stories of their younger days. The little diesel often helps with maintenance work along the line, and does it so much that it sometimes causes Rusty to be late on other jobs. Come on, Rusty. We've got to deliver that coal to the sheds. Oh, I almost forgot. I'd better hurry. <laughs> About time you showed up. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. I was held up preparing the line. I understand maintenance work is important, Rusty. But your other jobs are important too. So Handel's been waiting on their new supply of coal all morning. And thanks to you, I'll be late with my passenger train. They're sure to complain bitterly and it isn't my fault. Please try not to be late again, Rusty. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. One day, Rusty was heading towards the transfer yards when the diesel noticed an old, dirty railway line. I don't recall seeing that before. This poor track's in awful shape. Maybe I should get some men to help repair it. We can worry about that later, Rusty. Mr. Percival's expecting us to be on time. Come on! <laughs> Ah, Rusty, right on time. Now then, I need you to help Scarlo and Reneus deliver these trucks to the yard. And once you're finished, I'd like for you to take a passenger train to the forest. Henry will be bringing them this afternoon. Don't forget, Rusty. Yes, sir. You can count on me. Right all then. Let's get going. We've got work to do. Hey, Scarlo, can I ask you and Reneus something? Of course, Rusty. What's on your mind? Well, I found this old railway line. It was in horrible shape. Almost as if it hadn't been used in a long time. Do you know anything about that line? Of course we do. It was Reneus and I who helped build it. I remember that line. A long time ago, the railway was much smaller than it is now. That was until it was decided to extend the line through a forest. It took us a long time to get it built, but it was most certainly worth it. Such a beautiful sight to behold it was. Green trees all around us, a wonderful view of the mountains, and a sparkling lake. It was lovely. But as time went on, it got used less and less as other railway lines were built and provided more services. It's a shame, really. I'd love to travel along it again. So would I. It brings back so many memories. I see. Oh, excuse me, you two. But I've got to get going. See you later. Where do you suppose Rusty is off to? Well, I do hope he doesn't get himself sidetracked again. Mr. Percival is very close to losing his patience over it. Here we are. This section of track needs to be repaired. All right, Rusty. Let's get started, fellas. Scarloy and Renance are going to love this. Just remember, Rusty, we've got passengers to pick up this afternoon. We can't be late again. I'm sure it won't take that long. I'll be there sooner than you can say fizzling fuses. But unfortunately for Rusty, he failed to see that he soon lost track of the time. When Henry arrived at Crowland State Station, the passengers were surprised to see a line of coaches but no engine. Where's our engine? We can't go anywhere without one. I wanted to see the forest. This is a terrible railway. <laughs> Where's that unreliable little diesel gotten to? Rusty should be here by now. This is taking longer than I thought. <gasps> oh no, I forgot about the passengers. I hope I'm not too late. Henry! Henry, I'm here! I... Where's Henry? Where are the passengers? Duke took care of that. He gave them a ride around the forest before bringing them back here to go home. That was hours ago. S sir, I'm so sorry, I... Rusty, 
You were late again. I am very disappointed in you. What's so important to keep you away from your jobs? Well, you see, sir, I was trying to repair this old line that Scarlo and Renes had built. That in. old line is being torn up, Rusty. It hasn't been used in years and is going to be replaced by a road. There isn't much else we can do, and you getting yourself distracted is making no better difference. You shall work in the quarry for a while. I should think that ought to stop you getting so sidetracked. But sir... Yes, sir. The next morning, the old line was closed down. Renes and Scarlowe were dismayed. They still had work to do and made sure everything was on time. They tried to remain cheerful, but they were sad to lose a part of their railway. I wish there was something I could do to help. Sometime later, Mr. Percival came to see Rusty. The quarry will be closed for two weeks due to blasting. It won't be safe for you, so I'll have to find you other work in the meantime. Sir, I have an idea. We can use those two weeks to help repair the old line. Scarlori and Renes helped build those rails. Please, sir. They felt miserable knowing it was going to be torn up. I want to cheer them up. Hmm. Very well, Rusty. But you only have two weeks to complete it, otherwise it will unfortunately be turned into a road. Oh, thank you, sir. We'll work as hard as we can. The old line was covered in rocks and branches. The tracks were broken in several places. Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. It's ridiculous! Try to repair this old thing! What a waste of time! Elizabeth's right. We'll never get this done in two weeks. Don't give up so easily, Rusty. We can do it. The engines and workmen worked as fast as they could, but time was running out, and a week almost went by. They all knew they needed more help, so Rusty made a plan. Phew. Oh dear. We have so much to do in so little time. I know. I think we need some help. It would make things easier if we had a lorry to help us. Hmm. A lorry, you say? I can't possibly help you now. I'm very busy. As you know, I'm a quarry lorry. Well, this job requires a special kind of lorry. I am a special kind of lorry. Steam lorry, I must add. The job requires a lot of hauling. Not to mention pulling those heavy branches off the line. I can haul, no problem. So, so you'll do, do it? it? Of course I can. Just watch me work. Elizabeth was as good as her word. She managed to pull up heavy branches blocking the line and hauling away any limbs and rubbish. Well done, Elizabeth. Yes, a job well done. Thank you, Elizabeth. We couldn't have finished the job without your help. Oh, no trouble at all. I knew that from the start. Sure you did. <laughs> the end of the week came. Mr. Percival, Sir Topham Hatt and the railway board came to inspect the line. And they were very pleased with how it turned out. My, this line looks as if it never changed. I agree, Mr. Percival. I can't agree with you two more. I declare this line safe and ready to be used once more. I second that. Well done, Rusty. Yes, and well done, Elizabeth. The line will be reopened first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> Maybe now you'll focus more on your work at the quarry. Right, Rusty? Yes, sir. Shouting, rise up early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting, Dinah, blow your horn? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? 
Dino, won't you blow your horn? Dino, won't you blow? Dino, won't you blow? Dino, won't you blow your horn? There's someone in the kitchen with Dino. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino, strumming on the old banjo, and they go beep by fiddly I O, beep by fiddly I O, beep by fiddly I O, strumming on the old banjo, and they go beep by fiddly I O, beep by fiddly I O, beep by fiddly I O. Strumming on that old banjo